Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd try and do a vlog today, a lockdown vlog with this one. Um, sorry about the music. Danny's just gone off to work. Um, obviously, yeah, the context is we're in lockdown here. I think we're week eight or nine because we did a couple of weeks before it officially started. So, um, but Dan works in a school. Sorry, that noise on that truck's really loud. <laughs> um, Dan works in a school, so he's a key worker, so he's still going in, but only like once a week, and then working from home the rest of the time. <clears throat> so today is a uh, mummy and stand day, and so yeah, don't have high expectations of what I'll get done. Mostly playing um, and housework, um, and when Stan's asleep, I'll probably do my meditation and pages and stuff. But I thought I would take you along for the ride to see kind of what our lockdown life looks like and what it's like with a toddler. It's an interesting one because when we were first going through it, we were like, imagine what this would be like if you didn't have kids and you could just work from home and like chill a bit. And actually, I think now we're a bit like, well, very grateful for having the structure of Stan. I think it works quite well for us. And, Obviously it's really sad and upsetting times and having the normality of a little person to look after in some ways is great. In other ways it's very hard getting any work done. But um, wherever you are and whatever you're up to, I hope you're staying safe. And yeah, we'll just have our day with you really. Ba -ba -ba. Should we tell them about some books that we're loving at the moment, Stan? Yeah, these are some of our favourite books, aren't they? Here We Are by Oliver Jeffers. Apparently, we don't have um, Apple TV, but apparently there's an animation of that on Apple TV, which is really lovely. And we're liking If I Had a Dinosaur, aren't we? We love this one. And then this one, very kindly, was lent to us from Daniel's school because it's called Stan and His Gran. And we absolutely love Stan and His Gran, don't we? <laughs> And then we've got a new book, don't we, called Dimitri. Well, it's called The Boy Who Loves Everyone. It's about Dimitri in his nursery. It's really nice, isn't it? <laughs> we love that book. <laughs> oh, look, there's Mabel having a little scratch on the furniture in a way she shouldn't really be doing. Ah, she heard me. Good. It was our wedding anniversary yesterday, which was really lovely. Dan and I have been married seven years. Um, and we actually had a really nice day. Uh, we obviously didn't have high expectations for that either but we went on a lovely walk as a family around Finsbury Park near where we live um, and we took snacks and Sam slept in his pram um, and Danny and I made a nice dinner for each other and I just thought I'd show you what we cooked I'll show you the two recipes because they're so good and they're like our favourite things to eat at the moment so I'm going to grab the cookbook so it's Eat Happy by Melissa Hensley and we love loads of recipes in here but our fave is this amazing salad it's spiced halloumi and chickpeas with black quinoa tablé and it is buff um, really 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 lovely so Danny made that and we always eat tons of it um, and then I made a special pudding so I made, this is an old classic that I used to make all of the time but I haven't done in ages. It's banana tarts. This is um, Nigel Slater, real cooking. And it's just so easy but feels really fancy. So it's just puff pastry, like pre-rolled puff pastry cut into circles and you slice up banana and put it on top. Um, and basically using butter and sugar and a bit of apricot jam, it's like a tart -ta -ta, but banana. So that's what we had and it felt really, really special. Um, yeah, and this one um, slept in for ages yesterday morning. He slept till five in the morning through, which doesn't sound that exciting, but when he came and got in with us, he went back to sleep and didn't wake up probably till 7.30. We just cuddled for ages with him sleeping in our arms. We, were, we slept as well. We didn't get out of bed till eight. So that felt like a real treat. Stan, are you doing some coloring? You're gonna color on your water mat? You're just going to put it in your mouth. Fair enough. It's just been pulled out, so it's looking a bit messy. But I got this from H&M Home, which is a really nice 
basket, storage basket, which goes underneath here under our TV. And it looks really nice when it's all kind of organized. We're doing a bit more of like how to organize Stan's toys so that when we can tidy them away, it actually looks nice and suits our home. So that's our current setup there, but that's it all pulled out. Maybe I'll show you later, it will tidy it away. And that's Mabel's second bed. <laughs> And I think you know that we've got this gorgeous Stocker high chair. Um, we use this so much. This is where Stan has all of his meals, but he also does like stickers and colouring and stuff. And it says Ken Stanton on the back, which is really cute. That was gifted, so thank you, Stocker, for that. Um, but yeah, I think we're going to do some colouring now. I'm going to attempt to grab some breakfast and a cup of tea. So my current fave breakfast is um, a bowl of Greek yogurt with some muesli on and whatever fruit we've got and some honey on top. And I'm having a mug of Earl Grey. Um, oh, did you bump your head? Oh, Stanny. And this is a new mug that Daddy got me, sorry, Daniel got me for Easter, which is by Minx Factory, if you wanna look her up, but it's a nice big chunky Mommy. mug. I've got my Earl Grey in. Mommy. Now I'm going to go and draw Captain Haddock, apparently. Also just wanted to say, um, these PJs from Kidley that they gifted us, thank you Kidley, um, this isn't Stan in his PJs. We love them so much that he, now that it's warmer and we're at home, these are fresh on this morning. Big. Oh, we're pl playing with Tintin, apparently. Hagger. Who, who's, is it? Oh, it's Hagger. We just wear them as co-ords to as, as his loungewear. Read, read, please. Read, please. Hagger read. Who else is on your cards? Oh. Tintin. Oops. One of the things I'm doing during lockdown to try. Um, and just make sure I have a bit of self-care in there is my skincare. So I wanted to just show you what I was using. Um, and I'm still loving the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. I'm using that in the mornings. But new to me is this Ren one that I tend to use at the end of the day. It's really, really nice. It's like a gel that turns into an oil, which I love. It's called Perfect Canvas really really nice you can add water to emulsify but I tend to just wash it off with a muslin cloth I really like that and I um, because of that got some little freebies which I'm testing out and so I am trying out this day cream which I like but this night balm that I love um, so as I say in the evenings I would use that Ren cleanser I tend to like a spritz in the mornings. I use the Oscar. I tend to like a spritz. So at the moment I'm using this and then both times. So whether it's night or morning, I would go in with the Clinique Moisture Surge as a kind of moisturizing, hydrating serum. In the mornings, I would then use um, the Elephant, Drunk Elephant Sea Firm um, as a serum. And then I would use the moisturizer. So. I would use this guy, which I'm testing out at the moment. In the evenings, I wouldn't use this. I'd go straight from this to this, which I'm loving. I've run out of basically now and I'm gonna get it. I think that this whole over, um, this whole Ren um, Ever Calm for like sensitive skin really, really suits me. Um, so in love with this, still trying this. But then after that, so I would do my nighttime of the Ren cleanser and then the spritz and then the Clinique Surge and this. And then when I'm actually going to bed, cause I'd probably do that before dinner, then I'll just whack some of this Sarah Chapman on, which I like, but I'm kind of just using up. It's fine, I do like it, but I love this. Um, this is my favorite lip balm, balm.com. It's the coconut one. Um, and then the other thing that I wanted to say that I got free with Ren is this SPF which I mean, I do partly just love the packaging, but I'm really enjoying using that. And it's super important that I use an SPF particularly because I'm using that, but you should always be using an SPF in the summer, even in the UK. This is a physical one, so it's zinc. So it wouldn't be good for dark skin tones. Um, it would be better to use a chemical SPF. But for me, particularly just like sitting on the balcony with no makeup on, 
with my sunnies on is perfect. So yes, just thought I'd catch you up on that. It, it feels really important to do these things properly, um, just as little rituals, particularly during lockdown, always, but particularly during lockdown, to just give a little bit of structure and a bit of self-care. Well done. It's time for a little mid-morning snack. So Stan's got some chopped up apple and sultanas. And speaking of our wedding anniversary, um, Stan was just playing with his photo album and I just wanted to show you. It's got some photos from our wedding in it. Let me find them. This is our wedding. This is our best man, Linus. But that's me and Danny on our wedding day. It's in the evening, so we're in like our, our second outfit, our chilled clothes. But yeah, it's pretty cute. Look, there's baby Stan. Daniel, uh, Stan saying Rosa, Rosa, Rosa over and over again because our friend Rosa is also in this photo album. But yeah, that's our party. There's Rosa. <laughs> that's me when I was little. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Me and my mum. Oh, I miss my mum in lockdown. There's my daddy. I miss him too. I'm lucky in that I get to kind of go and stand on their doorstep and deliver their um, stuff from the shops, their food, because they don't live so far away I can kind of go on a walk or a run and deliver it to them and stand two meters away and have a little chat so that's special but Stan hasn't been able to see them or cuddle them and that's that's a little bit tough continuing on with the wedding nostalgia this is our order of service which I designed um, this is like um, matte white foiled into craft paper or card I I painted, oh I can't get it to focus, I painted the um, staples yellow and then this is an Esme winter paper that we used, um, yeah, and I laid it all out, we did it, oh, the sand's falling over, we did it at our church of course um, and the first song was Fix You and no one knew that I was going to but I went over and played the drums for it which was super cool, so yeah, anyway. I really like this order of stuff. I take. You take. You take. Stan take. Stan take. Pretty, isn't it? You weren't there for that. Mummy. You were just a twinkle in your father's underpants. Whee! Where are your other balls, Stan? Do you want to kick the other balls too? Well done, Cubby. What ball have you got there? Big ball. Little ball. And there's a little red ball. Whee! I'm going to do a proper tour of Sam's nursery at some point, but I just wanted to give a little shout out to these crates in this size and these sizes. So we used to um, at Smug sell hay products and so we had some crates by them and the um, grey one and that pale yellow one and like all of these little ones are all from Smug. But I don't know who makes the ones that I've been buying from Molly Meg but they've got some really nice like different pastel colours. So that one and that one are both from Molly Meg. And we just find them so helpful for storage and for organising. So Stan's got two with books. Oh, he's giving Mabel a stroke. What do you think, Mabes? You having a little kiss? Nah, oh, that's nice, Cubby. Mabel's probably going to leave any second. Oh, oh. Yep. <laughs> um, these two are firm living. But yeah, these crates are so great. So just little shout out. Obviously, we don't sell them anymore. Or actually, I think I've got I think I've got a couple of the salmon pink on my website, Lizzie for Smug website. But you can get them from Molly Meg and you can get them from people who sell hay. So yeah, very good for kids' bedrooms in my opinion. Okay, so stand sleep. It was a bit hit and miss there <laughs> for a while, but he is asleep. I really love um, the days that I have, just me and Stan, obviously we miss Dan, um, but it's really lovely having the time together. But I do need the nap break. <laughs> um, last Tuesday when Dan was at work, Stan didn't nap, and he was mental all day, and so that was much less fun. 
but um, yeah, I'm I'm a mother who needs the rhythm of the nap. I love it when he's awake, and then the little bit of respite when he's asleep is really lovely. So I'm gonna have my lunch. I'm gonna show it to you because it's what Danny made for us for dinner last night. Um, that yummy salad. Uh, and then I'm gonna probably, if I have time before he wakes up, meditate and write my pages. Those are two things that I'm trying where I can to do every day again for, I mean, I try anyway, but I feel like with lockdown when this, when our lives are so small really, and there's not much going on, it can feel busier and less in control actually, even though there's less to do. Um, so, I am trying to be really good about writing my pages and meditating and again using that time for a bit of self-care and checking in with myself. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do now. I'll quickly show you my lunch. I love this food so much. So here it is. We always eat more of the halloumi the night before and then there's a bit less halloumi in it for lunch the next day. But it's really good. Um, I've chucked the... Um, pomegranate seeds and pistachios over the top which is part of the recipe and it's just delish and I'm gonna have it with a big glass of squash because I'm a child and yeah there's Stan asleep next door he normally does like an hour and a half or so so I'm just gonna chill out and enjoy my time so I've come out onto the balcony I've got my headphones in because I'm going to sit out here and meditate for 10 minutes um, I use an app called Headspace that I really really like I'm sure you've heard of it um, but look that up if you haven't but yeah I'm just gonna meditate whatever their daily meditation is for 10 minutes and then I'm gonna write my pages and just sit and chill out here in the sunshine with my plants and be present really that's a big thing for me at the moment just trying to be present in everything that I'm doing whether that's with Stan or with Dan or when I get to be on my own just sort of sitting and soaking life in rather than feeling like I have to do a hundred different things. So I'm just gonna sit here and be. I always feel so good and I've just meditated, particularly sitting out on the balcony. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of journaling. I have this sentence a day one from Kiki K that has three different years. Um, so I did 2019 and now I'm on 2020 so it's nice that now as you write in you read what you put the previous year um, this is my journal that I try to write either morning afternoon or evening pages into I try and write three pages um, of how I'm feeling how I want to feel doing things like writing to my intuition or if I'm not in the mood for that just kind of journaling it's by season paper um, so I really enjoy doing that and then this is my diary this is my 2020 diary and this is where I write my habits for the week so as well as kind of planning and stuff it's just the beginning of the week so not much in there I try and write five different habits are oh, grateful for my husband uh, anniversaries do that to you but I write out the things that I want to try and do every day um, so I can tick off pages once I've done that I meditated yesterday so basically I'm gonna fill all of this in for yesterday we went on a really big walk so I can tick yes to all of these things which is really cool doesn't always sorry people on skateboards going past it's not always the case that I do everything quite often it's just like two or three um, but I like to try and do as many of them as possible and I find that once they've become really strong ones they come off the week so I for a few weeks I, on here um, during lockdown I had skincare and I've taken that off because it's not a priority priority sorry because it's kind of enough stuck in there that I am just always doing it now um, made it a permanent habit that's the case usually for pages and meditation but I'm finding in lockdown that it's actually harder to do it even though on well, most of the days Daniel and I are both here um, yeah for some reason I've been struggling with that a bit so trying to make sure I do it a lot Instagram grid posts I've been so bad at since lockdown I haven't really known what my kind of voice is on there I've been doing some really nice IGTVs and enjoying that but the grid I haven't been working on much so I want to get much back into that because I love doing it when I do it and it makes me feel like I've been creative so creative is another habit that I've got there but that's broader so if I've made a soup or if I've restarted some shelves at home or something that's all relevant to creative too so yeah those are some of my habits I'm trying to nurture this week 
this one's awake. Hi Stan. So he's playing here with his bits and bobs and I'm probably going to try and do a little bit of washing up. The house is not looking all that tidy. <laughs> so I'm going to come and do some washing up. Annoyingly, just before or a few weeks before lockdown, our dishwasher broke. So it means uh, lots more washing up. These were, um, I think they're called Elephant's Breath. They grow in Cassell Park near where we are and Danny picked them for me for our anniversary yesterday, which was very sweet of him. But yeah, I'm gonna have a little go at getting this looking better. Oh, this plant, I don't know if you follow me on Instagram, but this plant, I'm Lizzie for Smug, by the way, it will be linked in the description box. But this guy um, was sitting on the windowsill in direct sunlight with a cacti and it had got really, really shriveled up in the bottom. Like you see this one here, they were much, much worse than that. And like the whole bottom half was like that. So I basically bought it over here, gave it a bath, like soaked it from head to toe. So all of the leaves got wet and so that the soil got really wet. Um, and left it to drain on the draining rack and it's been living here and I think it's much happier not in as much direct sunlight we still get lots of light so it's still got good light but um, seems to be happier here and there were two of them so I did the same with the other one and this guy is currently sitting here so um, I'm hoping this one will catch up and be as good as the other one but it's already looking so much better they were sitting over here, um, south facing with the cacti and the cacti love it, but there was one of them on the end here and one on the other end there. And I think they were just getting, a they'd had a little bit too much of it. So I'm pleased to have moved them. Um, this guy I'm trying to bring back to life. I don't normally have him in direct sunlight, but he seemed a bit kind of sad, like he wasn't getting enough light. So I've actually repotted him, put some water in and giving a little bit of light today, but then taking him back into the shade. With plants, it's always a bit hit and miss or, you know, just trying to find the right spot for them, isn't it? These are our rainbows that Stan and Danny drew together. Oh, stay happy if you can. Coronavirus, we love the NHS rainbows. While Stan's happily playing over there, I'm going to take the opportunity to make a soup. I've done most of the washing up got to organize some of this stuff but that's decision making for when Danny get home, gets home. That's the camera that I started vlogging on and run out of battery with so I'm on my phone now. But yeah I thought I would make a soup. I do quite a lot of batch cooking um, and we particularly like soup so I'm going to fry off an onion and get rid of some old bits of salad in the fridge. I find make actually salad leaves fried up with an onion as a base of a soup is really good. Um, and I've got some butternut squash and some sweet potato and some cherry tomatoes and things like that. So I'm going to crack on with soup. Use the cooker hob. So I'm frying off an onion and some garlic in oil with salt and pepper. And my soups tend to be like what's in the fridge that we want to get rid of. So I see we've got some kale, a little bit of wild rocket, some spinach, a few cherry tomatoes. And then the main thing is going to be the sweet potato and the butternut squash. But I'm going to fry off some of these greens. There's a tiny bit of broccoli left in here first. And then I will roast these vegetables in the oven and put it all together with stock and blend it. So this is now spinach and kale and rocket as well. And that tiny bit of broccoli. So I'll let this reduce, um, like wilt a bit more. And then I'll chop up the cherry tomatoes and chuck those in. I'll look and see if we've got some tin tomatoes because... I may or may not want to add those, but I might just do it with stock. And then, yeah, it's time to chop up these bad boys and get those roasting till they're nice and soft. Sweet potatoes all chopped up and that's going in with some oil and salt and pepper, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of cumin and a little bit of ground coriander. Um, so that's going to go in at 180 for like 20 minutes to half an hour, probably more like half an hour so it's nice and soft. Um, and then I will add it to this with a load of stock and blend the whole thing. And the squash I've just cut in half and scooped out the seeds um, and that fleshy bit. Uh, and just oil and salt and pepper and I've whacked some rosemary on top because I happen to have it in the fridge. That will go in for on the same temperature because it's going in the same oven obviously, we just have one oven. But they'll probably stay in longer so that it's so soft I can literally just scoop the flesh out of the skin and whack it in the soup. 
So these are roasted nice and good. You'll be able to hear Danny's home now, giving Stan his dinner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to let these cool down and then I'll scoop all the insides out and add it here with the sweet potato and a load of stock. I was hoping to borrow my brother's stick blender, but um, I haven't managed to get it. So I'm going to have to just like decant it into the my bigger blender and I have to do it like in two or three goes probably but then I'll blend it up and stir it and see if it needs more stock or more seasoning or anything to taste and then it'll be good to go it's windy so I don't know if you're gonna catch this but I've come out for a little walk in the park um, while Dan is giving Stan his dinner uh, it's quite difficult to get exercise in on a Stan day um, he wasn't up for coming out to the park he was really happy playing at home this afternoon so um, yeah, I wanted to come out and get a few steps in while they're doing that. It's a lovely afternoon. So another thing I'm trying to do to stay kind of fit and healthy physically and mentally during lockdown. So yeah, I'm gonna have a little walk around. Might give my mum a call. Um, yeah, have a little bit of me time again. Okay, so Stan's asleep. I'm gonna go and do my skincare routine. Danny's just getting dinner ready. We're not gonna have the soup tonight. I was always planning on having it um, tomorrow, but I don't wanna blend it tonight. Now Stan's asleep, so I'll blend that tomorrow. We'll have that for lunch tomorrow. But yeah, Danny's doing us fish cakes and veggies now, and we're gonna watch a movie. We're watching the second half of the um, Rise of the Last Sky, Sky the Rise of Skywalker. It's the last um, Star Wars movie. We got married on International Star Wars Day, May the 4th. May the 4th be with you, may the 4th be with you. Um, so yeah, we watched the first half of it last night on Disney Plus as our anniversary <laughs> treat. And we're gonna watch the second half now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope it was vaguely interesting seeing us pootling along with our day. Um, I know that lockdown vlogs aren't the most riveting as people don't really even leave the house much, but I have been watching other people's lockdown vlogs. So hopefully you found this a little bit of fun. Um, but yeah, stay safe, God bless. If you wanna give the video a thumbs up and subscribe, that would be really nice. But yeah, hope you're doing well and stay safe and thanks again for watching, bye.